People lined up and got in for the win. And now goes Ortiz. Beautiful short right hand. If the result is the same, there's a left hook and down goes Gonzalez. Kinson's a little, little jittery right now. Ortiz looks nice and calm and relaxed. Well, maybe he's trying to earn some respect. Can't compete with power. It's maybe best just not to get hit with anything too early. Oh, the legs seem a little off for McKinson. His game plan a little bit. Like he, got, he got accustomed to the power and the pressure now. And he's doing that now. All he needs to do is, is throw some jabs in between to make it seem like, he, like you're in control. And when he slows down or becomes stationary, that's what happens. He always has to be moving and pivoting. Oh, the body shot finally does the trick as McKinson's down for the first time as a pro. It was a junior has never seen a round number nine. What does it look like? It looks good because he's down again. I kind of lower leg issue. Yeah, he's throwing quiet. the towel in the corner. The corner has the towel up. They're trying to stop the fight. Lawrence Gold. They're waving it off, and it's over. Virgil Ortiz. They fought for. A second time in the amateurs from Stanionis that he's able to get a Butaev, another one, four right hands by Stanionis, and then he unloads a combination. Attack the body of Stanionis has bad intentions written behind it. And there's a big right hand. That he is aggressive, but it is aggression behind fundamentals. No, it could be the mindset of I need to get this back. Left hook connecting for Stanionis, but back comes. Butaev, but it appears Butaev has been affected by a lot of these shots from Stanionis. He is on the ropes, and Stanionis, as he was punched off the break there, has been starting from the get-go. There was no feeling out round. Sensational. Absolutely, and you can tell Stanionis is not just resting on me. Oh, my goodness. Options oh thus far on Stanionis, and I think right now he just has to rely on me, a new player in the welterweight division, and a oh, huge right shot. hand. Oh, my goodness. Stanionis with the left hook. Stanionis might have. And the new WBA welterweight champion of the world, Aymanta Stanionis. He was knocked out by Jose Ramirez, the junior welterweight power. This is the first. Dig into the body now as Ortiz Jr. Maurice Hooker want to exchange with the bigger puncher. Come on, one, two, The showdown with Terrence Crawford at right hand. He's not relying on that long, long punching on Maurice Hooker's keeping those elbows tucked in. The second half of the, of the fight, he takes out everyone with the first six and a half rounds. That body shot affected Hooker. He's got those elbows pinned in. He's buying time as Hooker. Oh, look at these heavy hands. Shots. Ortiz Jr. gets the best out of that. Mistakes and stay behind the jab. Fight your fight. Another good jab. Oh, Ortiz thinks he's got him and he might have. Back against the ropes. He'll take a knee. Hooker is down. All Virgil Ortiz at this point. 59-54 after that past 10-8 round. His shots, Todd, are just thudded. He is oh, and another right hand as Hooker takes a knee again. And this time.
can't hit anything. There's a left hook that backed up Gonzalez, and he felt that left hook to the body. He stuck his two, so we'll see if the result is the same. There's a left there hook, is. and down there goes is. Gonzalez from the left hook by Stanionis. Stanionis looking. There's a left hook by Stanionis. Stanionis driving Gonzalez to the perimeter of the ring. Gonzalez is going to stop off back to conventional. Another left hook to the body, followed by a right cross. And there's a left hook that connected on Gonzalez. A left hook to the body. Vicious body shots. I can assure you, you talk about breaking down the fighter. Gonzalez is broken down. Hands are down, he's posturing, mouth out, uh, tongue out, and saying, come on. But he's broken down. You're broken down. You can't think. You, you, you just kind of count. There's down. a big right uppercut, and down goes Gonzalez for the second. Trying to protect the body. Now you get hit to the head. It's a matter of time. Marvin Samodio urging on Imantes Daniones. Come on, let's go. There's a crush there right hand. Down he there goes there for the third time. There and there this one is over. And now he's looking. And even though oh. he's getting blocked, they hurt. And there's that chopping right hand again. Vargas better be careful not dipping to that same side. Yeah, Vargas can't afford to trade shot for shot. And remember, it was Vargas that told us that he said Virgil Ortiz struggled to make weight. So if that's the case, this is where Virgil Ortiz should be losing strength and speed and, and, and all that. Vargas having a laugh, but he's not smiling now as the 22-year-old starts to unload. Catching him with a left hand and now a right. And down goes Vargas, and he takes Ortiz Jr. with him. That's a big shot. Oh, and then downstairs, too. And this is not where Vargas wants to be back. Stop at the bell. Oh. Stop, stop, stop this fight. Stop this fight. I'm Boxing at 13, joined Lithuania's national team at 16. Again, Olympic caliber boxer lays in the left hook. Good start to the... He stands in the pocket with, with Stan Jonas. And... No, not down. No, not down. Push down. He's, throwing, he's throwing it upstairs, downstairs. He's hinging his punches. Oh, he had his... Maybe off balance a bit, but that shot may have buckled. There it is. Yeah, and a three... There it is. There it is, the one, two. The... Stan Jonas, who has a very good high guard, is able to... Oh, it's Stan Jonas landing some right uppercuts on the end. It could be set for the undefeated Ennis. Stan Jonas with the right uppercut, checking the jaw of Delorme. Catches him with the left hook. And, Stan... and still undefeated, a Monta.
Castagnoni's. Wonder how much the crowd's reaction is influencing the judges. Can Orozco get a fair shake? He just caught a big left uppercut and goes down. Ortiz is a great finisher. Catches him with another left. A right hand across the jaw. He's letting his fist fly. And down for a second time is Orozco. He gets up right before the count of 10. Still a long time to go. A minute 30 and with bad intentions. Orozco's foundation seems to be totally gone, and this fight is over. The People lined up and got into the win. And now goes for two. Beautiful shot right here. Virgil. Ortiz goes down for the second time in the round. He fell down there. And it's over. A second round stoppage. Well, he beat Ricky Hatton back in May of 2006. Good hard right hand. And you see these hard shots. Hard shots at the body already by Stanionis. But again, he is 40. But he's fought Sugar Shane Mosley, Amir Khan. People that throw jabs first and, you know, and combinations after. I has swollen up his his left eye is getting swollen from that right hand of Stanio uh, and, wow. and, and Stanio and and right now he's getting hit good but look at him come back you know Colazzo is really he's a game guy he's just not gonna lay down because he got clipped with a triple hook left hand combination I mean that's sweet stuff for a 40 year old guy letting it fly Stanio is smiling saying all right I see you got a little left here yeah. Landing some good punches, Colazzo. He rode out that left hook, but he got jacked with that right hand by yeah, uh, yeah. By, uh, and, that's, and so that's after body shots. Another body shot digs in another right hand. I mean, the, the well, maybe it'll be a good test for the young man. 26 years old, unbeaten, fires back a right back, and then the singular hook. That's a counter from Stanionis, but Colazzo with the work right now, throwing the combination, saying, "All right, kid, let's oh, mix oh. it up." Oh, he got head butted. Yeah, that's it. And this is the fourth round. It'll end up being a no contest. Time. If you notice, he he go up top or he go down the bottom, like he just did now. He went to the body and went upstairs. Oh, and he drops Alvarez early in the first. This. The crowd ooing and eye with this punch. That one too hurt. Yes, it did. That one too and hurt. Staggered him. And let me tell you something. And he staggered him. Now let's go to the body. wobbly. Ortiz sees that. The referee is watching very carefully because there was three or four punches right on the money. And I'm, you know, I'm really surprised he stood up like that. Alvarez, wow. Stayed up, and that's it, it is over. If he goes the round, it's good, but at the same time, I mean, he has execution power. Oh, there you see it, the left hook, as Salgado was trying to open up with a right, rocks the fighter from Mexico. The two-time world champion in trouble early here. You know him better than anybody. He's got power and he can crack with both hands. He can crack with both hands if he hits you on top or on the bottom. He can hurt you. You see the legs of Juan Carlos Sal. Two up and coming prospects. Yep, and we see the uh, punch that number is there. Nice percentage for Virgil Ortiz, who now connects and sends Salgado reeling back towards the ropes. And Salgado leans down and then comes the uppercut. Very efficient and very intelligent. And they do what he always does and finish his guy before the nine minute mark. Nice left hook to the liver and down goes Salgado. I don't think he's getting up. And Trying to stay on his feet. There he goes. He's on the attack. 
Herrera, look, catches Herrera, and he's on shaky feet. I don't that hook just missed, and a right hand landed. Another right hand! Out. Herrera's yeah. out! Herrera. Virgil Ortiz Jr. Quick stoppage, he says, I wasn't punished, but big right hand to the top of the head, and down goes Evandro Caballero. He came out from the beginning not bagging up, knowing what he wanted to do, and he did that. Using the jab, power punches. Cutie. You see in the fourth round right there, he would not stop going to the body. Even he started doubling the shots up. More of a Montes Danion is happening. Yeah, he, he still hasn't let up. Looking like the first round, body shots, double jabs. I mean, this, this guy has a Montes Danion. Yeah, we worked out at the Velasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles. And you can see that Valenzuela's trying to feel the effects of those body shots. Yes. Valenzuela's a part-time fighter, Doug. He's a software engineer with a degree in engineering Winner. from UTEP. Let him go. So. Let him go. Oh, that was right that's to the side. That's a body shot guy. Yeah. Ran across country there. Valenzuela handled that knockdown. Oh, yes. again. Oh, it was, oh, that got him good. It was, it was to the solar plexus again, that left. Done. You gotta know Over. when you're done, and Virgil Ortiz. Exactly what he showed, the cart, the desire stop, to come stop, in stop, here stop. and give an honest football. Oh, there, oh big oh, uppercut, there it is. That was the moment people were- Referee here. Come on. You don't know what you don't know what you Making a professional debut in the black trunks, Virgil Ortiz, Julio Rodas in the blue, and they come Jeez. up slugging right away. Uh, as the old timers would say, it looks like both guys are double parked here. Oh, right hand oh. drops Rodas. Oh, huge right hand from the 18 year old Virgil Ortiz. Upstairs, good combo. See, you see the eyes, and oh, there he goes down. And that was a jab. A that's stiff. And it is over a first round KO. Now with this back to you, both of these guys have pretty quick hand. Fernandez, as I mentioned, is one and three with a one. Oh. And down goes Fernandez. Perfect right hand, end of fight. 